I talk about the things that bring me joy. Oh man, I absolutely used to love these things as a kid. Interesting. I'm trying not to run into people. Not too easy tonight, but we'll do the best we can. Question. Why does traffic seem not as annoying on Friday? It's like, all right, there's some traffic today, but it's okay. Because it's Friday. Let me know down below. Man, it is beautiful out today. I'm sorry if you live in the north. Be jealous. That's all I can tell you. Move to the south. I got an extra room if anybody wants to come down. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Today is, you got it, Friday. My favorite day of the week. Today, I thought I'd, I'd talk about the things that bring me joy. You know, from now on, Friday is only going to be a positive. I think we'll have to start calling this Positive Fridays. That'll be the name of the segment. Because on Friday, all we do is enjoy ourselves in work, at home, and here in video land. So, like I had said, oh, look at this cat. See what I mean? See, you try to be decent. Because he got a nice car, he believes he is owner of two spots. But we ain't going to address that today because it's Positive Friday and that would just make me angry and pissed off. So, back to what we were saying. What brings you joy? Today I'd like to speak about the things that bring me joy. And I'd like to know from you guys in the comments down below. What brings you joy? What makes you happy? Of course, you know, this, making videos, brings me tons of joy. And I guess I'm pretty transparent with you guys. There's no fooling you. You know I enjoy donuts and you know I have a love for chocolate. Those are things that bring me joy. Greeny is the center of all my joy. And of course my daughter and my son, extreme joy. Whenever I think of my wife, my daughter, my son, my family, my mother, my brother, my nephews. But I'm not talking about those type of things today. I'm talking about the superficial type of things. See, everybody tries to pretend that they're better than that. They're like, oh, my health brings me joy. That's all I need. I ain't buying it. Otherwise, we all wouldn't work so hard in life to make money. I want to know the things that bring you joy that you got to pay for, all right? So, like, photography, all my gear, all the time and travel, you know, there's expense involved in that joy. But yet it still makes me extremely happy and excited, right? So we always tend to think that finance, money, that brings you joy, which it does. I mean, when people say it doesn't, they're just full of it. But, you know, spending money usually doesn't bring you joy, right? Whenever you get a bill or you have to replace something or buy something. But for some reason, say you're into cycling. If you have to buy new tires and rims for your bicycle and it costs you several hundred dollars that that probably makes you happy you want to show it off you brag about it you know you but you spent a hell of a lot of money and it brought you joy so today i would like everybody to share with me one thing in every comment down below if you can please tell me one selfish thing that brings you joy so for me it's photography i spend a shitload of money on it video equipment, we'll just call it all one umbrella. Cameras, video equipment, everything that goes along with it, which includes traveling to places in order to get shots and make videos and have fun. But that really brings me joy. In the last, I'd say, two years, that's probably been the number one thing that I've let myself get excited about and allow myself to treat myself over. That's another thing. So we're always so cautious with our money we, we wonder what we will spend it on, and we're real careful what we buy and how much we spend on it. But when it comes to our hobbies, the things that bring us joy, eh, that usually is out the window for me. I don't really put much thought into what it's going to cost. I look at the price, and then I go ahead and spend the money anyway. Not like with other things, right? I've been procrastinating on buying car tires for about three weeks now, and that shit should be off my ass and have it done. But, you know... Ah, look at that price. I want to spend $800 on rubber. But, you know, I was lucky in the last year and a half, two years, I hadn't had to drive to work. Now I do. But staying on point, what brings you joy? 
what do you do for yourself that actually makes you happy? It's like me, I'm out having a good time right now. I'm, I'm just having a ball today. Walking around, shooting some video. Later on, I'll go home, me and Reedy will go out and hang out, walk around. Tomorrow is Saturday, you know I'm taking my camera out. I think I'm gonna go downtown and do some street photography. Starting to, uh, if I have to be honest with myself, I'd have to say my landscapes are pretty good. My architectural photography is excellent, but my street photography is outstanding. And I, I'm, a, I'm a big critic of my own work. I hate everything I do. But I find it really hard to find fault in my street photography, which is something I didn't want to do. Something that I did because, you know, I like to be a well-rounded a well -rounded, a well -rounded photographer. So, you know, do a little bit of everything, landscapes, portraits, street. But, you know, I never thought of myself as a street photographer. But yet, I can't deny that 99% of all the street photography shots I take come out outstanding. So, sometimes your love finds you. Rini found me. I didn't find her. She found me when we were little kids, and she never, she never let go. And I could never be happier. But it's like that sometimes. Sometimes the things you love find you. Sometimes you find them. Comments below. Share with me today, people. It's a love day. Let me know. What makes you happy? What brings you joy? Now, I know as a creative, like I just copped out and said photography and filming, but more photography, let's say, than videotaping, because I love making my videos, but I am just in heaven whenever I have my camera and my headset on. I'm just by myself in my own head. So photography would be it. I'm walking on the curb. I'm just playing today. It's Friday. I just feel like playing. But whoop, can I... Can I hold the camera up and balance beam on the curb? I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe a little harder than I thought. Anyway, y'all let me know. What is it that brings you joy? What do you really enjoy? That's just for you, personally, in your life, for you. That you don't care what you spend, you don't care the amount of time it takes. What? What is that thing? I want to know. Maybe you got something good that I need to be getting in on, too. Don't be shy. Share it with us all. We want to know. What does everybody do for joy? Anyway, I think I'll play around the parking lot a little longer. I'm having some fun, making some people uncomfortable, which you know I mean. That's another thing I enjoy. That's a free thing. Looking at the businesses, making them uncomfortable, making people get on video when they don't want to. But let me know. What brings you joy? Oh, hear that? We must be at Walmart. Oh man, you didn't think we were not come from Walmart tonight, did you? You'd be sadly mistaken. Of course we're coming to Walmart tonight. It's Friday. It's always Walmart Friday, right? So it's our obligation to come. And I'm telling you, it's packed tonight. Should be super interesting. I'm trying not to run into people. Not too easy tonight, but we'll do the best we can. It's crowded. You know I love it when it's crowded. I have a eh, mid-sized list to cut through, but should get that done pretty quick. And then... Off we'll go. We've got a lot going on tomorrow. We're headed up north, do a little photo shoot. Uh, got some repairs to make around the house. It's going to be a busy day overall in general. But like you see tonight, we're slamming up in here. Got to try to find what I need to find. Box guys are out. Everybody's in the way. It's just crazy. I'll get back to you. Oh, man, I absolutely used to love these things as a kid. So I have a question for you, because now... I absolutely cannot stand them. They're like way too sweet. The chocolate is kind of bitter. The cookie's too sweet. It's weird. Question for you. Are there things that you can't eat anymore that you used to love, absolutely love to death years ago? Let me know in the comments down below. These things, oh, I eat rows of them. Now, I can't even eat one of them. All right. Looks like our adventure will soon be coming to an end. Have about everything I need. Got a few things that Rini wanted. Unfortunately, Walmart be out of stock in a lot of things right now tonight. Like the stock men are just getting going. But there was one thing she wanted me to get for our daughter that I absolutely don't see. And that's the one thing I'm going to hear the most BS about. But for now, 
Uh, give it one more shot. Once more around the block and then we're out of here. I can't stay here any longer tonight. We've had enough fun. Oh, getting a bit foggy out tonight. Just one of those nights. Uh, I'm exhausted, but very happy. We've made it to the end of yet another phenomenal week. Oh, I love you guys. My numbers are up through the roof. I can't keep up with all the likes and comments I'm getting. So keep pouring it on. I love it. Tomorrow, we're headed out with the camera. Be looking for some new stuff hitting Instagram this week. I've been slacking. I've let my Instagram go to hell. I gotta fix that. So I'll be on that campaign this weekend. Uh, well, I guess I'll go over the trip next week. Kind of run out of time today. I thought I was gonna let you guys know what's uh, the new adventure coming up. That's in about three weeks now, but I think I'll save that for next week. Y'all know how we do it. Comment, like, subscribe. It's right down there. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on. That's every Monday through Friday. Love you. See y'all on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. I think there's something good to tell me on Monday. I'm going to ask for some stories this week.